lessons, we thought we would record how we do this. So the trees that we're planting today are from our nursery, uh, grown from nuts from our trees. They are about uh, six feet tall. And uh, let's get started. All right, first thing, we take the tree out of the grow bag. When you have your hole, we like our hole about twice the size of the root ball. And make sure it's flush with the ground, no deeper. If anything, a little bit sticking up. We'll just get some dirt, put it in around the hole. All right, now we got a little bit of dirt on the hole. We add water to the hole. And this is to get the air pockets out, get the dirt packed in good around the root ball so you don't have any voids in there. You just agitate it and use your shovel, get you a stick or whatever, but this is the way we do it. And you just keep adding more dirt as you get it in there and then you add more water and jiggle it around in there until you feel comfortable with all the dirt that you can get in there in the hole all right and then next after we get the tree in there as we like it we use this corrugated pipe and this is mainly just we spray around our trees some people don't you can use mulch, mats, whatever. We use uh, this pipe, and that's just mainly to keep the spray off the tree. You don't want any spray to get on the tree. Then we use cages. Get it put around. Right now it's a little with the, the leaves, but the leaves are getting ready to come off, go dormant. Get that in there like that. We hook the wire and then we use rebar. You can fasten it, however, we usually, I, I skip about every foot, two feet with the wire, bend it over, because some of the wire you're going to use for the rebar, but it's also best to maybe use some extra wire or zip ties to hold it because the wind can get pretty fierce, fierce and work, stretch out the wire. And then after we got the wire hooked up, kind of place, get the tree as straight as you can get it, get the rod, shove it down in the ground. And this is where you don't have all the wire hooked and you need to use it on the rebar. And you just twist it around up at the top. Try to do two or three because, like I said, the wind will get the flop in this basket the more you have it hooked up. And zip ties work well on this also because they won't come off. And then we do one or two down toward the bottom. Now that we got the tree tied up, that's pretty much it. We move on to the next tree, and we have a lot of people ask about fertilizer. I would give the tree a year in the ground before fertilizing and like to say the second leaving on the second year of being in the ground I would put a little fertilizer like 10 10 10 and you want to stay outside the root ball and you can scratch the best thing is to scratch the ground and put the fertilizer in and try to cover the fertilizer up because any nitrogen that's in the fertilizer will escape and go out in the atmosphere where if you kind of cover a little thin layer of dirt, it'll hold it in and go to the tree. 